Hello and welcome back to another University Deep Dive. Today we are profiling the undergraduate real estate program at Berkeley. And so we've got students uh, Jackie Chan and Rhea Luthra here to uh, spill the deets, I guess they would say, right? Uh, we're excited to have you guys here. Thank you for coming and we'll turn it over to Spencer to get us started. Yeah. So again, Jackie and, and Rhea, great to have you here. Uh, we, we've, we've done several events with real estate students at the University of California at Berkeley and they're bright and talented and an incredible real estate program that you have there. So I'm excited to talk about that today. Uh, you know, maybe to kick it off to you, Rhea, um, as you think about studying real estate as a student at, at Berkeley, what does it mean to be a real estate student there? Yeah, thank you, Sunshine and Sam, for having both Jackie and I come speak today. Being a real estate student at Berkeley is really an amazing opportunity, even though there's not a strict like minor or major program that students pursue. We're really able to take different types of like classes that are part of uh, the College of Environmental and Design and the Business School, which is the Haas School of Business. But ultimately, by being a student, since there isn't a program, the people who are pursuing this uh, path like in real estate all really know each other. So there's an undergraduate real estate club, which for, uh, both Jackie and I are co-presidents of, and every person that um, is minutely interested in pursuing the career, wants to learn about real estate, really joins that organization. And our goal, part of the organization, is to provide as many opportunities as we can and create this like niche community. And the best part about not having like a really big real estate school is actually that we're able to build these strong connections with people who are pursuing that major. And it gives us a lot more of an advantage because um, we're able to like con continue on building these connections after we graduate as well. Yeah, that's great. So let's unpack this, that a little bit more. Jackie, to you, um, what courses are available to undergraduate students? So you, there isn't a formal minor or major, uh, and that's not atypical by the way, but uh, what courses are available to real estate students? Uh, and at what point, in your kind of experience at Cal, do you decide, hey, I'm, I'm, I want to study real estate. Real estate's my area of, of interest. Yeah, thank you, Spencer. Thank you, Sam, again. Um, and so, as we mentioned, uh, there is no formal program, so there's no major or minor. Um, but I think there's no shortage of real estate courses available. Um, and so, depending on kind of which avenue of real estate you're interested in, whether it's like on the architecture and development side, um, there's an architecture major with lots of um, classes about like building structures. Um, there's classes within the business community for uh, introduction to like either real estate finance or like um, land land economics. Um, and so that's honestly one of those classes that Rhea and I both took. Um, and I've learned so much. So let's looking at the under the introduction to real estate finance course, for example. Um, although it's only one class and it's only consisting of one semester, um, there's so much that you learn within that that. Genuinely, after you take that class, you'll fair, you'll feel very prepared to recruit. And when you go into an internship, you kind of already understand the metrics and you understand a lot of the terminology. Um, and so, again, there is no program, but um, these classes, if you take enough of them, you, you can definitely piece together a story um, that will prepare you more than enough to um, become a real estate professional. Now, what, what about the, the timing of that decision, though? Right. So you arrive on campus, you're a you're a fresh freshman uh, and and you're trying to decide what direction do you go? H how do you know even to study real estate? Uh, how do you know it's an option and, and why that? And to you still, Jackie, like when when is that actually happening and how, how does that decision? Uh, how is that decision made? Yeah, totally. Um, and I, I think I can speak on my personal experience um, about this topic. So I didn't come into college thinking I was going to pursue real estate. Real estate to me used to just mean like real estate agent or real estate brokerage, just like residential. Um, and I didn't have a full understanding of what commercial meant. Um, I knew these buildings existed, but I didn't know what the business meant. Um, and so I went through my first year uh, really focused on like entrepreneurship, kind of like on the tech side. Um, I joined a business fraternity. Um, that, was my, that was my full focus. Um, but then during my second semester, or during my second year, my sophomore year, that's where I started to explore different career options. Um, and I knew that real estate was something that was really cool. I, I'd watched some YouTube videos. Um, you know, it, the industry seemed really interesting. So I decided to take that course I mentioned earlier, the introduction to real estate finance. Um, that's where I met Rhea. 
And so we took the we took that class together. Uh, we talked more about like commercial real estate um, and some of the trends going on. And back then it was um, this was pre-COVID, and so lots of things are booming. Um, and so this pretty much snowballed into an interest of um, why don't I at least get an internship in real estate? Check it out. Um, and then after that internship, come back and like discuss with other other community members within Berkeley. Um, and just you know, one conversation after another within the community, um, it just honestly snowballed my interest. And I think in terms of timing, it really depends. I think Rhea came into the industry very early, uh, but for someone like me who didn't come into college thinking I was going to pursue commercial real estate, um, it really just came down to like meeting people and like finding the right people to talk to. Um, and as the real estate community continues to grow in, in the undergraduate space, um, that's becoming more and more available and accessible to students. Yeah, great. Well, what about you, Ria? So your your story, how did you ultimately decide that studying real estate at Cal was the right decision for you? And then what resources at Cal helped either solidify that or guide that or or motivate you to, to, to make real estate your path? Yeah, so my uh, path to real estate started first semester of freshman year. I was recruiting for clubs and while Jackie was uh, exploring the business fraternities and consulting clubs at Berkeley, which are really, really big. I went around and ended up meeting people within the undergraduate real estate club. And that's when there were about 30 members within the organization. And what really clicked with me were the people and how passionate everyone was about the work that they did. And I started attending a lot of events and something that like sets apart Berkeley from a lot of other organizations is that even though we don't have a solidified real estate program, the master's um, in real estate program at uh, the Hall School of Business is one of the most top like programs in the country. And the undergraduate community is really able to like build connections with that school and professors allow us to like sit into those classes. And I remember actually hearing from some professors that came into like event, uh, came to speak in different like UREC events my first semester freshman year. And those professors were not only from the master's real estate program, but also from the MRAD program, which is uh, taught by like the College of Environmental and Design. And the fact that there are just so many different like opportunities available on campus made like UX stand out because it was the only thing that connected the undergraduate community with all the other resources. So the fact that they had so much um, like kind of like when I joined, it was kind of just like a deep dive into everything that was available. And my personality is just once I find something that I'm passionate about, I'll take advantage of it. I found great people who actually helped me get one of like my first um, major internships at like uh, Cushman Wakefield, which is like a global brokerage firm. And it was really through a UREC connection. And it, I like realized the importance of being part of that community and building on those relationships. And I really stayed because I wanted to give other students the same opportunity the following years while I was on campus. Yeah. So, so talk more about the events that you're doing as part of, as part of your real estate club. Uh, you, you mentioned speaker events. Uh, what else or what other ways can students participate and learn about real estate through your club? Yeah. So that has changed over the years. So when I was a uh, part of the program, we had various different speaker events. We had info sessions where uh, companies that are like looking for analysts and interns would come and speak to us about the program. But recently what Jackie and I have started is um, in addition to like our general membership, which anyone can join, we've started an analyst program. And part of the analyst program is that we're taking in about 15 students. And we actually just selected our first class of 15 students last night. So it's a really, really exciting time for That's us. Cool. And what we're doing with um, our analyst classes, providing them with the technical trainings that aren't really taught in these classrooms. And we're trying to make sure that even though Berkeley doesn't have an undergraduate real estate school, like the undergraduate community can really compete with other universities that have that program. So once you're accepted in the analyst program, you go through like weekly financial training where you learn how to like underwrite and build forma. You go through like industry specific lectures where you learn about various different like topics. And then we have a weekly speaker series and uh, we invite senior professionals throughout the industry and every week. And uh, that's open to our general members and our analyst program. So 
even though like not a lot of students might be able to get into the analyst program, we are able to like provide them similar opportunities within the general membership structure. And we have weekly newsletters, which we started, and that includes like a uh, promotion for those specific events and also um, job opportunities and internship opportunities and any other like case competition opportunities. So we really try to make like UAC the hub for like the undergraduate real estate program. Yeah, what incredible initiatives that you're driving forward, both both uh, you, Rhea, and, and Jackie. Jackie, what about alumni? Um, it, it sounds like you're interacting with them through club events and outside. Uh, what other support, how much support, I guess, do you feel from the broader uh, alumni base? And how, how are they impacting your career and other students' uh, budding careers at Cal? Yeah, definitely. Um, and the alumni base within UREC is it can go back so long. I think UREC's been around um, UC Berkeley for a very long time. Um, and so many of them are recruited in like very successful places. Um, and so we're very closely knit with the Berkeley Real Estate Alumni Association. Um, and they consist of like real estate professionals, um, professionals going into like uh, other industries that are also closely related. Um, and so all these opportunities um, give undergraduate students the opportunity to just like reach out and talk um, and it's not always even just professional. I think um, just at our past info session uh, last week, we had our previous club president come and join us. Um, and he just wanted to sit in the info session, just listen in on some of the new initiatives that Rhea talked about. Um, and that was really cool. Um, and so he just interacted in like the chat and Zoom. Um, I think that's also a cool part about being virtual. Uh, you, get to, you get to see some old faces come back. Um, and so, yeah, the alumni group within the, within the club is so powerful. Um, and a lot of them are at these top shops, like I mentioned. So um, I'm going to Heinz this upcoming summer, and there are several uh, UREC alums that are there. And so as soon as they found out that I got accepted, um, I got immediately a couple text messages and emails um, from Berkeley alums um, saying, you know, like, congratulations, you know, we heard about this. Um, and so that's just, it's just a really warm network. Um, and everyone knows after they graduate, there, there never was a formal real estate program. The students kind of built it, right? It's like, this, the whole program was founded on like culture and community and um, genuine passion for building out this network. Um, and so like, yeah, the alumni network has just been so powerful. Love, love to hear that. Let, let's talk about outcomes um, because really most of this is about outcomes, right? Where, where you end up post-graduation. Um, Typical students graduating, uh, for, for in, in st having studied real estate at Berkeley, um, where geographically do they generally end up? Uh, and in what types of roles, what types of firms uh, are you seeing most graduates ending up in? And maybe Jackie, start with you and, and, and Rhea, you can chime in as well. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll start and then Rhea, definitely chime in. Um, and so we see a very diverse group. Um, and so personally, me and Ria are both going into kind of like commercial real estate finance roles. Um, we're going to like summer analysts um, and students from Berkeley are going to like top shops. So like Heinz, Prologis, Blackstone, um, some of these like big commercial real estate firms that are um, based in San Francisco or based in like NorCal. Um, but I think what's interesting about being a student at Berkeley is like you also get access to the labor market um, in all of like California or the West Coast. Um, so currently I'm working in Seattle um, I'm doing an internship um, with the real estate group. Um, and that, I think that was only enabled because of my internship in like San Francisco. And so by being kind of on the West Coast, you get access to so many different opportunities. Um, and Berkeley is obviously a top school. So many, uh, many students here get the attention of uh, top firms around the world. Um, but I would say a majority of students are ending up working in like San Francisco, uh, becoming a summer analyst. Um, yeah, Ria, do you want to add anything? Yeah, what, what type of roles, Ria? Um, you know, are, are most ending up in development like like Jackie is? Uh, are I mean, I'm assuming uh, it's a Heinz or it's a development team at Heinz, Jackie. But um, are, are, is it mainly development? Or are they moving into brokerage? I know you spent some time at Cushman. Um, it, it, are there asset management, acquisition, portfolio type roles? I, generally speaking, and, and I, you know, I, I know it's it's a broad brush, but Generally speaking, what types of roles are, are many of your colleagues ending up in? Yeah, happy to elaborate on what Jackie mentioned. Um, so the alumni base of Berkeley, like Berkeley students that end up going into real estate is very diverse. I'm currently 
the fellow for the Berkeley Real Estate Alumni Association. And I got had to like had a chance to really meet with alumni uh, throughout the nation. And geographically, a lot of them do end up in San Francisco. There are some in New York. So next summer, I'm going to Blackstone and I was there for like a different like a program and actually was able to meet some of these like alumni from Brea from my connection already and they might not be that many in New York and there might not be that many in like SoCal but there are a lot in San Francisco and they all have a diverse range of experiences like some work in um, debt some work in asset management um, some work in development city planning there's it is very very diverse just speaking off of like the UREC general membership base, like students are coming from various different majors. And that's the case that like, that's something that continues on. And I think it's also due to the fact that we don't have like a really strict program that takes you towards like finance or takes you towards development. We really are able to like build, um, like we're really able to find our own path based on like things that we like from like the classes we take. And I, I'm going more on like the private equity route. And uh, that was just because personally I enjoy doing that, but there are a lot of people within Berkeley that might not choose to do that path as well. So I'd say it's very diverse. I can't give you one clear answer that a lot are going into asset management or a lot are going to acquisition. It's really the benefit of like having such a large group that we're able to make it that diverse. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so we're low on time. I wanna make sure I get to this last question. Um, maybe start with you, Rhea, and then have you, Jackie, chime in. Um, as you look back now at your your years at the University of California, Berkeley, studying real estate, participating in the club, engaging with alumni, doing internships, is there one experience in particular that you can really point to and say that had an outsized impact on my experience thus far? Yeah, I think for me, it's very simple. If I did not attend info session for the undergraduate real estate club, I will not be where I am today. I would have not, like I was similar to Dot here. Like I wanted to take a like, very traditional like business route and maybe go into banking or something. But if I had never met those people, like I would not be going into real estate. I would not have learned like the opportunities that commercial real estate has. And that would be like my one thing that really sticks with me today because it led me to something that I like love and I'm super passionate about. Yeah, love to hear that. What about you, Jackie? Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's very similar to Rhea. I think it's definitely info session um, for the undergraduate real estate club. By attending that info session, I, I met some of like the smartest people within the real estate community that I've ever met. Um, these people were like so passionate about it. They, there was no ulterior motive. It was, they love real estate, they love students and they love networking and building those relationships. And so through those info sessions, I was able to meet Rhea. Um, and when, you know, Rhea and I, we, we took a couple classes, she introduced me to the club. Um, and then she obviously had a very built out network um, before like her sophomore year. Um, and so she helped me get um, my internship during my summer um, just by introducing me to some of like um, her, her community or her network and like HR or like at companies. Um, and that kind of experience and that network, I you know, when I look back was the single hand, single, like most beneficial thing, most valuable thing that I could have experienced. Um, and so for students that, you know, are, are kind of on the fence of whether or not to like attend the info sessions, and it's not even just for real estate, but just in general, that just kind of attending and, and showing up, you never know who you're going to meet. Um, and so looking back on my experience, that's definitely like number one, most valuable. Yeah. Gr great insights. Uh, Interesting to hear about uh, studying real estate at Berkeley, Jackie and, and Rhea. Thanks for your time. I'll kick it back over to Sam to wrap us up. Yeah, uh, this has been wonderful, Jackie and Rhea. Thank you both so much for coming. And to you, our, uh, our readers, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this deep dive interview. And we wish you the best of luck and on your adventure in commercial real estate.